Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Military Mondays. If you and I don't know each other, I would love to get to know you. I am a retired Air Force major, served on pretty much all sides of the military. I was active duty, I was a spouse, and I was a reservist and retired after 27 years. So um, if you have any questions about the military, I probably can answer them. Just know that I retired in 2015. So if you're looking for current knowledge, I probably don't have that, but I might be able to connect you with somebody. And talking about connections, I got connected to this wonderful lady that I have on today by a friend that reached out and said, oh my God, you need to meet Melissa. So I have Melissa St. Clair on this morning. Welcome, Melissa. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here. <laughs> so um, when we got connected, I learned that you are a Marine spouse. And, you know, we all know the Marines and how tough the Marines are. And I don't know if I've interviewed a Marine spouse, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. I've done Navy and Air Force and Coast Guard and Army. But I, I'll have to go back and look. I don't think I've had a Marine spouse on. So what's it like to be a Marine spouse? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Where? How much time do we have? No. <laughs> well, and it's and it's probably likely because the Marine Corps is like one of the smaller services. So if I'm the yeah. first, I, I am just so honored even more. Uh, but being a Marine Corps spouse, uh, at the uh, mantra that I learned early on was Semper Gumby, always flexible. So, <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, it, I have carried that through to civilian, uh, you know, scenarios as well. So, but uh, I don't know where the time went. It went very quickly. Uh, some days, of course, were very long, uh, waiting on deployments and return from deployments uh but and wading through some hurricane conditions while stationed on the east coast those were Ooh. some long nights um but overall the um impact of the people that we met along the way and remain connected to is the best takeaway that i could ever have so yeah the relationships it's amazing i think i talked about this on my last interview um, it's amazing how when we meet, because we've only known each other, we've talked a couple of times, that's it. But there's an instant bond with military families, military spouses, military members, veterans, because of your experience. It, it's an instant bond. And it's just, it, I grew up not being in the military and my dad served, but he was out by the time I was young. And so I didn't experience that until I got into the military. And it's just different. If you're not in the military, all I can say is reach out to those of us who have been and we can try to explain what that's like. So as a spouse, though, you're moving every three to five years, sometimes quicker, sometimes you get to stay a little bit longer. What's that like and what did you do career wise while your spouse was serving? So I am have been working uh, since I was 15. I got uh, my parents approval for that work permit so I could start, you know, bagging groceries early. Um, but so career driven, wanting to thrive professionally alongside my active duty service member. Uh, and I was able to sustain uh, a job because we had back-to-back -back orders at a particular military installation, but I knew uh, I would be moving. So I had to find something. And I think someone from above was listening because I got a job at the chamber and became so motivated by the entrepreneurs that I met there. And then somehow, the virtual assistant industry came across my radar. I think because of technology advances at the time and the shift in you know, how to use workers, um, a, a new paradigm that, oh, remote, how can that work? So. <laughs> well, and we have all learned that remote does work in the last few years. Those yes. that, that um, fought it for years now understand that it is 
it's a blessing, I think, to have um, people working for you remotely, for you to be able to work remotely, even if you have a traditional job. So many people are being able to work from home, which can be a blessing and a curse. So those that are watching, I understand that it can also be a challenge at times with family members, especially if you have children in that at home. Um, so, but, you know, let's talk about um, what you do now in your virtual assistant um, business. You opened that in 2006. So we're going on uh, 16 years. Holy yes. cow. Wow. 16 years. So I definitely have an expert in, <laughs> in my midst today. So let's talk about virtual assistant and how you help businesses to get organized and to grow exponentially their business. So I, I am still having fun after all this time. And I think that's super important. And I love the clients that I get to work with. Um, and I really feel like I become a strategic partner because I'm invested in their success so they can grow. Uh, and by doing so, taking things off of their admin office plate um, or helping them get better organized and developing systems and processes, which can lead into developing standard operating procedures. I know those written documents, <laughs> um, but they are you know, the foundation of your business and can be used as training tools when you're ready to pass that particular workflow on to the next person on your team so that can free up your time. So super important, SOPs. Yeah, and you know, SOPs are standard in the military. We all know what <laughs> SOPs are. Um, and I think they're becoming more and more popular even in the civilian sector. Um, and some of us, you know, that um, didn't necessarily develop the SOPs, it was the enlisted members in that that developed a lot of that type of stuff. Those of us that were on the officer side, you might have developed some, but uh, we need to tap into resources like our enlisted folks while we were serving. Now we need to tap into those resources like Melissa to get those systems and processes in place for us so that we can be successful. And I happen to know that um, being able to offload some of that admin, doing what I have a friend that says only do what you do best and hire out the rest. Mm -hmm. And um, it's so true when you are young in business and you probably remember this, Melissa, when you are young in business, you want to keep your arms around the whole thing and you, um, but you learn over time that if you're making X number of dollars doing what you're best at, whether it be real estate or whether it be virtual assistant or like my husband and I do in marketing, that pays way more than admin work. So we're best to go out and spend our time doing what brings us in the most amount of money um, and hiring out, hiring Melissa. So, you know, we talked before we went live, Melissa, and I don't know if you're hiring anybody right now, but we were talking about if you are a spouse, some of the things that you can do because we've both been there and it's not um, easy every three to five years to have to uproot and be at the bottom of the totem pole every time. And we were talking about virtual assistant being a good whether you work for somebody else or you have your own virtual assistant business, it's a great way that you don't have to pick up and start over again because you literally can do it from anywhere. So let's talk about that and what words of advice you have for military spouses. Maybe that brand new couple and uh, they just got married and they're overwhelmed. What would you say to that spouse? Oh my goodness, and I still feel it. Uh, <laughs> but it's easy to get overwhelmed and it's easy to lose yourself in the midst of all of the movement and moving. Um, 
but just remember that just to be yourself in no matter what scenario and embrace your time as a military spouse. It has definitely helped me uh, become more organized, um, a better planner. And so I'm able to then use those skills in my virtual assistant business to then you know thrive professionally and help others grow. Um, and I just feel like as I'm saying that it's a whole ripple effect because when you're in the military, it kind of takes a village of military spouses to, you know, day in and day out to help live that military lifestyle. And then you can translate that into so many areas. Um, and for those that might be interested in becoming a virtual assistant, it's administrative, it's creative work, it's technical work. So it is wide open and you can either be a business owner or you can find agencies that are hiring exclusively military spouse virtual assistants. And I am just, I'm so proud to know the owners of a few of those agencies that are doing amazing things to help grow business and keep military spouses employed. So win-win. Yeah, I, I love those. I actually... We were talking about this. This is episode 270, and I believe it was my 200th episode um, where I interviewed another um, military spouse that created a VA type, and she hires just, or she tries to hire just spouses. So um, if you want to go back and watch some amazing interviews of other um, military spouses or military slash spouse owned businesses, you should go to militarymondays.info and learn from these amazing people. Um, because I'm 270 episodes, we were talking about this over five years of interviewing or talking about military life. It, it's It's been fun interviewing people. So you talked about getting plugged in as a spouse. Any other words of wisdom that you would have for them? Absolutely. So building that network. I used to think in the beginning, oh, moving is, you know, I'm losing me and I have to reach out and do all this new outreach and due diligence. But you know what? It broadens your reach. It expands your community. So try to reframe that PCS, that permanent change of station mindset. It's a good thing. So, you know, embrace the time that you're there, learn about your community, build your community and keep going. Awesome. I love it. And anything that we haven't talked about your business or anything that we haven't talked about that you'd like to share before we wrap it up. Oh my goodness. Um, I have just enjoyed this so much and am so grateful because obviously as a military spouse, I, I am all about uh, talking about it and then uh, sharing and growing and encouraging others to grow as well. Um, just finding what you love and finding the way to do it there are so many resources out there and just reach out and make those connections. People by nature are helpful. So don't be afraid to ask if it can help you get a leg up. Awesome. I love it. And if you're a military spouse, maybe you're early on or maybe you're later in your career and you just need somebody to talk to, I'm betting Melissa would take that um, call or reach out to her on Facebook. I'm sure you can find her on LinkedIn. She's going to put all of her contact details below when we finish this Facebook Live. Um, and it, if you have any questions of me, I'm glad to answer them too, because we both have been there, done that, and we want to see you thrive um, in your business if you've chosen to have a business and also in your personal life as a spouse. So um, we wish everyone the absolute best in um, any way we can help you be successful. Let us know. Um, 
thank you so much for being on today, Melissa. I really appreciate it and um, sharing your business because so many people need to hire a virtual assistant. If that's you, if that's been in the back of your brain, like, oh, I wish I didn't have to do all this stuff or I hate doing the admin stuff, you might need to pick up the phone and reach out to Melissa or reach out to her in Facebook Messenger and say, hey, Melissa, can we have a conversation and figure out how you can help me to get organized and grow my business? Because I can truly uh, attest that it works and it helps tremendously. So with that, thank you so much. And thank you to our viewers. If you found any value in this, hopefully you did, you're gonna like and share this with your network so that we can get the word out about Melissa and um, help some spouse that might be out there that's struggling right now and just needs to hear Melissa's in my message. So like and share and go to militarymondays.info. If you own your own business and have a connection to the military, whether you support the military or you serve in some form or fashion, I would love to have a conversation with you and maybe feature you on a future Military Mondays. But with that, Everybody have an awesome week and I will see you here next Monday on Military Mondays. Bye everyone.